The summer 2023 Ahsoka sets have finally leaked. We have a good look at the T6 Jedi shuttle as well as a brand new Ahsoka series set. Now kicking it off here with the T6 Jedi Shuttle, I just want to say the box art looks absolutely amazing. I love the Ahsoka in the bottom left, but the ship itself, I really like the red and gray design. I think it all wraps around really well, and the ship looks really, really good. This set will be releasing on September 1st and will retail for 80 US dollars, and I don't think that's too bad of a price considering the modern day Lego market. But starting off with the minifigures, this in my opinion is the best lineup of the summer, the Ahsoka right here. Lego does not usually give us arm printing in a playset, but they did and they sure as hell delivered. This minifigure looks absolutely stunning and in my opinion is the best Ahsoka Lego has ever made. I really really like how it came out. Next up here we have the Sabine Ren minifigure. Now don't get me wrong, I don't think it looks particularly bad, but I feel like it looks a little too simple. Now I don't know what the source material is, I don't know what this character is supposed to look like, but me personally I feel like it just looks a little too bland. Lego sure does make up for that blandness with these two minifigures though. We have Hu Yang on the left and then some sort of Inquisitor-like minifigure on the right. I'm not sure what his name is, but both of them look absolutely stunning. The body prints on both of them are extremely detailed and I'm really, really pleased with how the head mold came out for Hu Yang. I think he looks absolutely stunning. Overall, I'm really pleased with how Lego did this set and the only criticism I really have, if any, is that the ship is a tad bit small. The next set we have leaked here is the Rebel E-Wing Starfighter versus the Shin Haiti Starfighter. I definitely pronounced that wrong, but anyways, I don't think we had any leaks or rumors about this coming out until, well, just now. Now, this set looks really, really good. I like the ship designs. Obviously, I don't know what they're supposed to look like because the show hasn't come out yet. But overall, I think the sizing on them looks pretty good as well as the design. I like the contrasting color schemes. And overall, I think the builds don't look too bad. However, this set is going to be $110. And while I did say the ship scaling isn't terrible, I don't know if this is worth $110. Now, taking a look at the minifigures, you're going to have to forgive me for not knowing any of their names. But we have this one right here. Her face print got leaked a while ago, so it's not surprising to see her in this set. But overall, I think the fig looks pretty good. There's nothing really special about it. It's just a cool looking fig. It looks like what she did in the trailer, so I'm not really disappointed with it at all. Next, we have these two Inquisitor-like characters with the red lightsabers. I think both of them look really cool. I like the printing on both of them, and they're just cool minifigures. Don't really think there's anything too special about them, but definitely like seeing them in LEGO Star Wars form. And the one on the left I know did appear in the trailer, and it looks pretty accurate. Now the last two minifigures might seem the most basic, but in my opinion are the best in this set. I really like that helmet piece on the Rebel Pilot. I think it looks really good, and I also like the blue and gold color scheme on both of them. I think these two minifigures look great. Overall, these Ahsoka sets are not disappointing so far. I'm really, really excited to see these on shelves and will definitely be picking them up.